Hey team, welcome back to my channel. Are you ready to dive into learning how to convert infix expressions to postfix notation? In this video, we have three problems to solve that will help you learn the steps. The first problem will introduce you to get familiar with the basics. The second problem will build upon the first example and introduce you to a new concept. And the third problem introduces you to how to manage the parentheses and stack management. You'll continue building skills using problems one and two. Practice makes the master. Let's go. Let's convert this infix notation expression to postfix. We begin with the first token, six. Then we do a test. Is it a digit or an operator? You can see here that this is a digit. Follow the lead. Add to the postfix list. So we come here and say six. The second token is the plus symbol. We do the test again. Is that a digit or an operator? This is an operator. Now look at the stack. Is it empty? Yes or no? Yes, it is empty. Okay, follow the lead. It says push. You can see that we've added the plus symbol to the stack. Let's continue. Our final element of the expression is five. Assign five to token. Do the test. Is it a digit or an operator? That is a digit. Follow the lead. It says add to postfix list. So come over here and add five. Now we are done parsing our input. We now have to fix this stack. We have to pop all of the elements from the stack and add them to the end of the postfix notation. So we come down here and say plus there and gone there. So our postfix notation is six, five, plus. Let's now use an RPN calculator to compute the value. So you come over here and say six, enter, five, plus, the answer is 11. Let us convert this infix notation to postfix. Let's begin. We parse the expression. We get 38. We assign it to token. And then we do a test. Is this a digit or an operator? Well, this is digit, so we just add to the postfix list. 38 is all finished. Let's continue. Our next token is the minus symbol. So you come down and you say, is that a digit or an operator? Well, that's an operator. Now is the stack empty or is it not empty? The stack is empty. Add minus to the stack. Then we get our next token five. Is it a digit or an operator? It is a digit. Add it to the list. Let's get the next token, the add symbol plus. Is that a digit or an operator? It's an operator. Is the stack empty? No, it's not empty. Now, is the precedence of pl the plus symbol greater than the subtraction? And it is no. They are the same. So what they, when they're the same, you pop and then you push. As you can see here, I popped off the minus sign and then I pushed the plus sign. Let's process the seven. It is a digit. Just add that to the postfix list. We're all done doing the steps over here, but notice our stack is not empty. Just take all the elements that are in stack and add it to the postfix. And there is your postfix notation for this expression. Let's now solve this postfix expression with an RPN calculator. We start off by saying 38, enter, 5 minus 7 plus is 40. So the answer to this equation is 40. Let's begin. Let's take three, assign that to token. Let us test token type. Is it a number? Yes. So what we do is we add that to the postfix list. Our next token is the plus symbol. So plus equals the token. Is that a number? No. Is it an operator? Yes. Is the stack empty? Look over here. Yes, it's empty. So just push it to the stack. Now we're ready for the next item in the expression. And now let's look at the seven. Assign seven to token. Is token a number? Yes. So add it to the postfix list. The next token will be the division symbol. Is it a number? Nope. Is it an operator? Yes. Is the stack empty? No, there's an element. Does the division operator have precedence over the addition operator? Yes. Therefore, push the division operator to the stack. And now we're on the open parentheses. So assign open parentheses to token. Is it a number? No. Operator? No. Parentheses? Yes. 
Now, if it's open parentheses, just push it to the stack. Now, once we get inside of a open parentheses, imagine that is a new stack. So when we take on two, imagine like this program is just starting over. So token equals two, number, add it to postfix. So come here and say two. Our next element will be the plus symbol. So assign that to token. Is this a number? Nope. Is this an operator? Yes. Now remember, our last stack item is a open parentheses. That means we have begun a new stack. So when we come down here and we say, is stack empty? The answer is yes, the stack is empty. So we just push it. The next element is three, assign three to token. Is that a number? Yes. Add it to the postfix list. Now we have come to the close parentheses. So it comes over here to parentheses and say, is it closed? Yes. Now the first thing we want to do is pop from the stack. Notice I will pop from the stack and add it to the post list. Then I will come back up and pop the open parentheses and notice there's a no operation. So notice our next element is the times. So we're gonna come down and say, are you a number? Nope, are you an operator? Yes. Is the stack empty? No, there's two elements in there. So we have to come over here to no. Now is the times higher than the division? No, they're the same. So we come over here. So the first thing we have to do is a pop. So pop off the division and then push the multiply. And the last element in the expression is two. Two is a number, add it to the postfix list. We're done with the expression, then we come and look at our stack. Is it empty? No. So we have to pop off each element. So then we say pop the multiply and then pop the addition. And there is our expression. Let's now use an RPN calculator to compute the answer. So we'll say three, enter, seven, enter, two, enter, three, plus, divide, two, times, plus. The answer is 5.8. I hope this video was beneficial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave that comment below. If you think this video would be beneficial to others, please consider sharing this video with your friends and colleagues. And if you don't mind letting me know if it added value by giving it a thumbs up. Either way, until next time, take care.